it's remarkable. You know, this was a brainchild of Al Kyoto, our undergraduate director, and to have 90 students sign up for an event like this is amazing. Up to now, we've been using it in the clerkship, uh, and the Orosims are available on, on the clinic floor or in the academies. This year, we've decided to do the uh, Orosim for our Triple MD week. On the floor, when we use it in the clinic, um, you know, we usually will sit down with the two or three clerks and go through a majority of the common uh, diseases, uh, urologic diseases that they will uh, should know about. Because it's available on the floors, uh, they can easily review that with their academy site director or faculty member, and you can have multiple students working on that. We think of this as a real breakthrough in terms of medical education because now we have the ability to actually show students what we're looking at and they can identify the important pathology. I love that they've got both common and uncommon pathology and even some quite rare pathology. And so I'm sure that some of the students going through this program will in future years go, aha, I recognize that because I saw it using the Otosim. Originally it was thought that it was only to be a one-on-one -on -one session, which it still can do, but uh, the ability to teach uh, multiple people at the same time I think is just such a big advantage. A lot of times they're afraid to say I don't see it or um, they believe they're seeing something and they just put it off as the fluid level but now they actually know what it is, they know what the instructor is looking at and I think many of them are seeing these pathologies for the first time. Uh, it was amazing. In the short period that we have during our training, you really don't see the range of pathologies that you would see in a clinic. It was kind of nice to be able to have that interaction with the speaker, to be able to say to him, you know, clarify um, certain aspects of the image. It was really cool and really helpful. Like, I've looked in ears before and it just, you never know what you're actually looking at. It's good that they could circle exactly what they were talking about. The clarity was a big thing because you could actually pinpoint all the little tiny differences. I think it should be used in earlier on in training. Always good to practice when you're not pulling it too hard and hurting someone. You can actually look through the otoscope and see what they're talking about. At this point, it's been a little bit difficult. Uh, you basically just have uh, a tutor show you the, the proper techniques, and then it's a little bit of trial and error with uh, your colleagues on uh, examining each other's ears. This was a great uh, one-hour event where you get a lot of information and a lot of exposure to uh, something which might have taken a little bit longer in our training to acquire. It was actually uh, amazing. I really thought it was a great experience for students to learn about uh, examining the ear. I really enjoyed how we could actually look into a ear without anyone moving around. It's much more realistic in the sense that you can actually look right into the ear and you feel like you're actually in a clinical setting. I would recommend it to uh, not only all medical students in my class, but medical uh, students across the country and other countries as well. I think that um, in this sort of new era of medical education, um, we are looking for new ways of teaching our medical students, uh, our trainees, to do hands-on um, sort of teaching, uh, but avoid that necessity of having direct patient contact. I think things like the Otosim uh, provide that medium on a very realistic simulator. It's a really a great tool. Uh, uh, if I think back to sort of my medical training, both as a medical student and as a resident, I think that if I had hands-on experience uh, looking down an ear, looking at different ear pathologies uh, earlier on in my training, I think, again, you're just further along. I think it's a vital tool for uh, the medical student to be able to bring it down to the level of a patient uh, to simulate that uh, process is, uh, I think, very important. I've been involved with medical education for a number of years, and I was just delighted to see what Dr. Forte and Dr. Campisi were able to, to invent. I'm very glad that we, we have this uh, valuable resource in our department. Yeah, I wish uh, we could put the Otosim in every medical education center in the world. Uh, 